nowadays. So everything, if you look around, everything, even in this classroom, has been influenced by engineering in some way. Your phones, your laptops, even your pencils have been designed to do a specific purpose. And every engineer's goal is to make your new model better than the last model. And as an engineering major, I hope in the future to try to do the same thing as them. Um, nowadays, we base a lot of stuff on the past, and it's no different for the field of engineering. So, the, uh, the article, history, the article Engineering in the Future, under, by understanding history, breaks down the history of engineering into four different ages. The first age is the age of promise. And all the age of promise really is, is the idea that there's a problem, we understand there's a problem, and how can we solve that problem? So the age, and the age of promise spans from 1815 to 1914, and that was a big time of war, especially in the United States. So we had a lot of problems that we needed to come to a solution for. The next problem, the next age is the age of crisis, which spans from 18, 1914 to 1945. And the age of crisis is understanding the problems that have arise since the age of promise. So a lot of, so a lot of them were like, how we're gonna, how do people understand what engineering is and how we're gonna incorporate engineering into our lives as humans and how we can better ourselves as humans in our society. Um, the next and the, probably the most pivotal age is the age of technomancy. And the age of technomancy is actually doing the work. So a lot of it is the space rush, which we went to the space, uh, space race with Russia to see if you can get space first. Um, the evolution of cars, the advancement of telephones, and this advancement of everything you see now was at its primal stage in the age of technology. Um, um, and that also spanned from 1945 to 1970. And the final stage, and the stage we're currently in now, is the age of participation. Now a lot of us go around and give our input about how things could be better. And the, this age in particular is big on how it can make things better due to you guys and do your input and what you guys say could be improved. So if for a big example is Apple, a lot of people are iPhone and Apple users, because I see most Apple laptops everywhere. Uh, <laughs> so and a lot of you put input and said, and said what could be increased or what could be made better from the latest model of your laptops to your newest model of laptops. And <coughs> personally, I believe that a lot of the stuff that we've said could be improved has been improved but it still doesn't mean that everything that you've asked for have been put into that product. And as important history is, the future is just as important. And nobody in here, for I know for a fact, can tell how the future is gonna end up or what's gonna happen in the future. But a big thing is, to understand the future, we gotta learn about the past. And this is why we put so much emphasis on history classes, so we, we know what not to do in the future to repeat the same bad things that happen. Uh, there's an article out there called Success Through the Future in historical uh, and by understanding historical failures. And that's big on how in the past we've designed so many things that have worked, but we've also designed so many things that haven't worked. And that whole article explains how um, uh, design process is genus faced. And genus faced means that it implements two different things that uh, compare drastically. And that, in this case, it would be history in the future. So uh, history, <laughs> designs from the past, can still be used to influence designs of the future and still be built upon to make things in the future more efficient and work better than they had before. And it also, it also discusses the paradox of design, which says that designs, even though they may fail at one point, doesn't mean they'll continue to fail later on in the future. So overall, the engineering field is a crucial and pivotal point into, into human society due to these four eras. And with the advancement of these four eras, we'll be able to, in the future, expand upon and build upon our lives as humans on the, on the earth. Thank you.